Hello, good morning from Agra. My name is Ivana and today it looks like we're actually going to the Taj Mahal. I missed it last year because I didn't hear my alarm and I missed my train. But this year, it, it actually looks like we're going to make it. <laughs> Guys, I think this is actually going to work out. I can see the Eastern Gate. Are we really going to the Taj? Oh my God, it only took us a year. <laughs> okay, so there's a male and a female line. That's nice. Almost there. We made it. We made it. Um, I don't know what that is. You know, I don't like tour guides and stuff like that, but we'll just walk around and see. I was scared that they would send me back because apparently I don't know if a backpack is allowed but uh, luckily they didn't. They just searched it and it was like okay go. I was like yes, yes I cannot go back. This process took like an hour or something. Oh, look at this prettiness. Look at that gorgeousness over there. So beautiful. Oh, where's the water from the pond, man? As you can see, it's also still very, very dusty. We made it! It still feels very, very surreal to be here. It's, it's with all my bucket list items. Once I get there, I'm like, is this real? Isn't this just a picture that I know from the interwebs? <laughs> Getting closer. But, 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 <laughs> where's the water? <laughs> and also, one pillar on the right is under construction. Oh, this does look very pretty. But this is one viewpoint. Wow, it is very, very beautiful. Oh man, it's so freaking cool. And actually, I am. I'm getting really sick, like my throat is hurting and I'm feverish and I have a headache but I didn't want to stay in bed today. <laughs> the struggle to make a picture without any other people in it. <laughs> I got a picture without any other people in it. <laughs> Just check out my Instagram. I'm gonna Snapchat this. Am I gonna Snapchat this? I don't know. I don't know. It is very beautiful here. There's a banner? Okay. So, <laughs> this is too funny. I was struggling to make pictures because, of course, everybody wants to make pictures. And there's just like little moments when there are no people in your pictures. Am I am I focused? Hello. Am I focused? There we go, I'm in focus. And then there was Dev. So this is Dev and he was photographing another couple, like making super pretty pictures. He's been working here. How long have you been working here? Forty. Forty years. Oh my gosh. So uh, yeah, I hired him as a photographer because he knows all the angles and makes pretty pictures. Water. He <laughs> He took like the best pictures of me. You like you he doesn't are, want to give me his telephone number. She's my daughter. <laughs> she's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him to give his telephone number to put it in the description down below. He doesn't want to give it because there are just too many people. So you need to look for him. And do you usually walk around here? What is this? Where are we now? Look at this. Okay. He knows the best spots for food. Where are we now? What is this? Like the this eastern is the gate? Mosque, actually. This, is, this is the mosque. So you're usually here yeah, or no? Mosque. No, no, always in uh, all around that. Time. Okay. Well, look for Dave. He's a really good photographer and knows all the pretty spots. So you will never find those by yourself. And he's worked here for 40 years. He's extremely good. Thank you. <laughs> Seriously, look at this, look at this. This is the spot he found me to take pictures. And also here, look at the monkey. Oh my gosh. Hello, Mr. Monkey. You want to steal my camera? Look at this. And he was like, no, go stand in the sunlight and everything. Like, oh, he took so many pretty pictures. Okay, let's check what's on this side of the mosque. Oh, this is quite high. Monkeys, lots of, lots of monkeys. There are steps over there. Okay, I will take the steps. 
There we go. Hello, don't fall. Um, yeah. There's a river here. Oof. This is pretty. Wow, we. There is actually a way to get there. I think just with a rickshaw and then watch the sunset on the Taj. Oof. This is gorgeous. I actually adore walking bare feet. Hello Taj. You're looking marvelous. Oh my gosh, there's a baby monkey. Oh he's making sounds. Oh baby. Look at you. You're so cute. You're so cute, aren't you? They're gonna steal my camera. Just watch them. But these are actually adorable. Hey baby. Oh are you making sounds too? Oh, oh my gosh, they're so freaking adorable. When they're little. I do not like being monkeys because they steal stuff. Look at them, look at them going. They're gonna rob some people. <laughs> Walk around a little bit more. I'm so freaking shameless when I take pictures. There was this girl, she was constantly standing in my light, so I was like, oh, Can you please move? <laughs> and she was like, Yeah, but this is for everyone. Well, I'm like, Girl, I'm not in your pictures. <laughs> move. <laughs> so she got a little bit upset, but I was like, Oh, chill, you know, I'm not in your pictures, you shouldn't be in my pictures. It's like mutual respect, you know. Walking around the structure. Oh, this marble can't. It's so gorgeous. From the other side. Oh my gosh, that sun. It's so pretty. It's still very, very dusty here. But the Taj is looking mighty fine. Too bad this side is under construction because this is good lighting. Good lighting for Saudi. <laughs> Okay, going in. I don't think I'm allowed to film inside. I don't even know if I'm allowed to film here, but we'll see. Yeah, 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 yeah. The closer you get, the more beautiful it gets. My gosh, this is pretty. I'm just walking around the structure before I go in. But to be fair, it's not that crowded. It's nice. You should come early in the morning and then just wait until like the first flood of people goes inside and then you actually have so much peace over there to make beautiful pictures with the Taj in the background loving it all the white marble men look at that and all those carvings it's so pretty oh my gosh these decorations they are so beautiful and i'm forever in love with these kind of windows Whoa. Okay, let's go inside. Cello. Okay, I can't film here. Gotta keep something to your imagination, right? You gotta come here yourself and then see it. Inside, it's actually a lot smaller than you would think, but it's freaking gorgeous. I've heard people say like, oh, the inside is not as impressive as the outside. That's like nonsense, I'm sorry, but it looks freaking gorgeous when you pay attention to the details and all the carvings and the marble and everything. It's so freaking beautiful. I have to say, I don't know, like if I if I find this prettier than the Mera Carrefour, that one was was extremely impressive. But um, the thing with the Taj, it's so much white marble. If you like white marble, this is this is like your freaking paradise. So. I don't know. I, I really like the Medagar Fort too. So, oh, and M Fort is also pretty. Mm. Difficult, difficult in here. You have so many pretty things. Wait, no. I figured it out. If you have to choose between those three, so M Fort in Jaipur, the Taj Mahal, or uh, Medagar Fort in Jodhpur, I would say. Medagar in Jodhpur because Jodhpur is a freaking awesome city. Agra is yeah, yeah. Jaipur is pretty, but Jodhpur is like my favorite city in Rajasthan. So yeah, I would say Medagar for. Yeah. And by the way, I am feeling more and more sick with the minute because it was also so cold and 
Oh, I think the masses are coming right now. It's 9 p.m. I'm thinking if I should stay a little longer and wander the gardens or just go home and lay in bed. I also have to eat. Hmm. Hmm. I need to get to bed ASAP. I'm really really not feeling well But there are only two things that can make me a little bit better when I need to eat and of course one of those two is Chole Batuya, freshly made in a local daba It is really near the Taj Mahal, but like I think all the guides and everything are eating here Also, I have a sweet lassi. I hope this makes me feel better. There we go. Can you hear the crunch? No, 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 no Feeling a little bit better already. Okay, I'm happy I managed to get to my room because I have a fever and I feel so bad. I have a cold, like my nose is running all the time, my throat is hurting. Ugh, I feel horrible. By the way, apparently. I have some kind of crazy math formula in my astrology which mixes Taj Mahal with Chole Bature and a whole day in bed. Remember last year when I missed the Taj Mahal? I also had Chole Bature to make me feel better and I also spent the whole day in bed feeling sick. <laughs> Apparently I shouldn't go to the Taj Mahal anymore. Gosh, it's quite bad. Like, oh, oh. I'm so hot. Um, it is now 2.30. I've been laying in bed since 11.30, so for more than three hours. And literally the only reason why I got up is because I had to go to the washroom. Luckily I have water here, I got the food. I hope like in a couple of hours I might feel a little bit better because I need to get more water. This is definitely not gonna be enough. This is just a half a liter. And also I would need a third meal. Wish me luck, I feel so horrible. Gosh, Taj, why you do this to me? Okay, this is my ultimate sick comfort situation. It is now 5.30 almost. I've just been laying in bed and I feel horrible. Um, I got food here, so I'm just gonna eat in bed and I'm going to watch my friends vlogs because then I feel like I'm a little bit at home. And later on, I'm going to watch Big Bang Theory again with Stefan and maybe call Nadine and that would make me feel better because I really need hugs right now but there's no one to give me hugs and I feel so sad mm. but the food will probably make me feel better so let's just rice with vegetables that's it I thought I might need some vegetables because I haven't eat been eating that much vegetables this little chicken wing has gathered all her energy to go to the local shop which is around the corner it's basically like a five minute walk uh, it is now 6 30 and i need chocolate in my life i need comfort food because there's no one can give me hugs puppy can you give me hugs no you wouldn't be scared of me damn it damn it where are all the hugs when you need them please have jelly pop and candy chocolate please have jelly pop and candy chocolate can you see this happy face? Can you see this happy face? I bought some, I bought some edible hugs, man. Also, the scent here, man. It's it's ridiculous. It's so good. It smells cardamomy. Is it possible? How does cardamom grow in trees or something? I don't know. This is what I bought. So of course, jelly pop and candy. Almost, almost. I did not buy this because at the first shop there are like four shops in a row. At the first shop, he only had this, and I was like, okay, well. There's probably not going to be another shop selling Cadbury. But then I walked over to the other shop and they had this. So now I have two chocolates, edible hugs, and also this. The packaging is way too huge, but bourbon biscuits. Oh my gosh, these are my favorites. I haven't eaten them since I was in Kochi last year. I love these. They are so good. We go on fever, jelly pop and candy chocolate, you see? And vlogs, lots and lots of vlogs. Hmm. Watching Big Bang with Stefan again. The quality is not the best of the Wi Fi, but still it's fun. Okay, your girl's gonna go to bed. I still feel like shit, but I'm happy that I spoke to my brother, which you haven't seen. I spoke to Nadine and I spoke to, well, I hung, hung out with Stefan, so that's really nice. 
like I feel some virtual huggle, huggles, <laughs> hugs and stuff like that. Okay, so I thought it was like puri uh, puri bhaji, but no, I think it is just very different. Tomorrow is our last day in Agra, and if you would like to travel to Delhi after that, click that subscribe button. And if you like this video, you can always put a thumbs up because we went to the Taj. We made it. We freaking made it to the Taj. Thank you so much for watching and for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye.